In recent times, Asians, and most especially Filipinos, had recently been represented in many comics and other comic-related products and media. From the critically acclaimed Trece Comics and its Netflix adaptation, to Salvador Joel Allende of Wildstorm Comics and Wave from Marvel Comics. Indeed, Filipinos have had a large but often overlooked impact in the comics industry. The Philippines has its own style and techniques in sequential art, honed for decades by legendary artists Mars Ravelos, Francisco Coaching, Carlos J. Caparas, and many more. Many of these Filipinos would find work in the West, bringing with them their unique comic book culture, influencing Western comics in the years to come, from Tony de Zuniga to Bong Dazo. But many people, including the Filipinos, don't know who the first Filipino superhero in mainstream comics is. Like many Golden Age heroes, the first Filipino superhero had been lost in time. In this mini-documentary, we will shed light into this forgotten but influential superhero. A superhero whose name is the Filipino Kid. The first Filipino superhero can be traced back to World War II. Before the war, the Philippines was under the colonization of the United States of America. However, Philippine nationalism remained strong, and for many years, the Filipinos would attempt to lobby for independence from America. The Americans would give them this freedom in the late 1930s, but then the Empire of Japan struck, invading and conquering the islands. They drove away the Americans and forced the Filipinos to endure four years of harsh, inhumane, and torturous occupation. Left to fend for themselves against a powerful enemy, the Filipinos continued to fight with whatever they had. They waged a guerrilla war in an attempt to free the islands from the Japanese. Many Americans overseas heard of these exploits by the brave Filipinos, and one comic book company in particular, Yellow Jacket Comics, decided to make a book about these people. Filipino characters in comics were not uncommon, although they were largely racist. The earliest Filipino character in mainstream comics was Ginaldo, who was a supervillain who worked with the Japanese and carried a bolo knife. He was a villain of the comic book character, the Patriot of Marvel Comics. Yellow Jacket Comics character would be different. The Filipino kid was going to be a hero. In his story, the Filipino kid was just a normal young man by the name of Juan Manito. Like many Filipinos during that time, he was proud and nationalistic. However, during World War II, his mother and sister were killed by Japanese warplanes. Juan then vowed vengeance by joining the local Filipino and American guerrilla force. They then waged an unconventional war against the Japanese. His skills in combat were so good that he eventually became a leader of the guerrillas. Filipino Kid is a fun comic, chock full of wartime action and drama, with a few tidbits of romance and comedy. It's a very violent comic, full of depictions of war crimes, and the earliest depiction of the brutality of partisan guerrilla warfare in comics. It's not a perfect comic since it had some subplots that went unresolved, as well as also being a very racist comic, most especially to the Japanese, which was no surprise since the comic both functions as entertainment and propaganda. But the best thing about it is its depiction of Juan as a cunning, courageous, and badass warrior. Filipino Kid appeared in 10 issues, and the comic line of Yellow Jacket would close down by the end of the war. It was revived as Charlton Comics, giving birth to iconic characters like Ted Cord and The Question. However, it finally shut down by 1986, its properties sold to DC Comics. Still, there's no denying the big impact of the Filipino kid in the history of comics. Even as his name is forgotten by the people, including the Filipinos, his name lives on as an important footnote in the comics and in the Philippines. For a more thorough look at the history of Filipinos in the comic book industry, check out Comic Tropes documentary entitled The Philippine Invasion of Comics. And if you like to know more literature created by a Filipino, go and check out our video essay on Otaku Girl by Luis Bulaong.